thank you for popping by my channel. Welcome back. If um, you've been here before, welcome if you haven't. Today I just wanted to share my little um, way of cleaning my nail art brushes. Today I did some nail art with gel polish and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I go about cleaning them and it also helps to condition the brush for future use. This is just the way that I do it um, and the way that I see other people doing it as well. Um, and I'm also going to show you the importance of cleaning your brush, even though it doesn't look dirty. If you hear any noise in the background, please excuse it. It's either one of the foster kittens acting crazy or probably the baby yelling in the background. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to start off with some top coat. Today I'm just going to be using my Mia Secret Glass Finish Top Coat. Um, I, it has a very thick consistency, and I find that the thicker the consistency, the better it works. Now, this brush here, it doesn't look very dirty, um, but you're going to go ahead and see how important it is to clean the brushes even if they don't look dirty after every use. Um, here, I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I am just kind of floating and wafting the bristles through the gel polish, and then I'm running it through and kind of like, like making it move like a jellyfish, kind of, just like floating it through, just making sure that the bristles fan out and get like a total coverage of the gel and that they're really able to swish through it and as you can see even though the brush didn't look dirty there is still a little bit of that black gel polish left in it so it is very important to clean all of your brushes after every use just to make sure that they're ready for the next application um here you can see this one is very dirty i did the most the majority of my line work with this brush and again i'm just going to Give it a nice little swishle, a little swoosh, <laughs> swirl through the gel, the um, top coat, just to really work out that black gel polish. As you can see, it really, really works well to pull it out. It's something about the top coat. I saw that it's like a color absorber or something like that. Um, you know, I'm not really sure the science behind why this works, but it does. And then you just want to gently take a um, lint-free wipe and kind of squeeze out the, um, the polish from the bristles. But you don't want to pull too hard because then it will fray the ends of your art brushes. And that's not what you want because then they're going to be janky and they're not going to work correctly. Um, you know, add more top coat as needed. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what you do. Um, so, and you want to just keep going back through until you get a nice clear wipe off on the lint-free wipe and that you don't see any visible, um, gel polish anymore. But it is very important to just keep trying. Um, as you can see, there's some stuck at the very bottom where the bristles meet the, and Oh my gosh, I cannot remember what that part is called, but the part where the bristles go in. Um, so now I'm going to show you how I kind of go about getting that gel polish out of the very bottom part where the bristles meet the, um, on the knife you would call it a tang, I think. I don't know what they call it on a brush. I do, but I can't think of the word. Um, so I'm just taking my tweezers and I'm not pinching, I'm not pulling, um, I'm not causing the bristles any distress. I am just using these needlepoint tweezers to gently press and fan out the base of the bristles. So once I'm confident that I've gotten all the gel polish out, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, smooth out the bristles, get them back into the shape that I want them, much as you would do with the acrylic brush. Um, you know, you always want to make sure that you put it back into the shape that you want to store it at. Um, so this one was a fine tapered point, so I just, you know, smoothed it out to that. And here's a bigger brush, but it's the same process. Um, this one had a lot more polish in it and it did have um, some shimmer so it does take a little bit longer to get it out but it's the same exact process you just want to work that gel polish um, be careful when you're moving it like I did um, I was doing like a scooping motion as you would if you were trying to do like a marble 
or you know some kind of design that you had marbled together um, if you know what I'm talking about how you kind of scoop the polish up um, and place it on the nail I was not you know smooshing the bristles the wrong way into the top coat I'm just trying to scoop it up onto the brush work it through the brush and this also acts as like a conditioner it keeps it in the shape that you need it to until the next time and what I like to do with brushes that I have cleaned this way is before I use them the next time I just run them through some top coat and then kind of like pat it out so that the brush brush is nice and conditioned and ready to go for the next um, set of artwork and for me this is the way that works the best um, I know some people say brush cleaner I know some people say no brush cleaner um, I've seen another way where somebody used rubbing alcohol um, I don't like to do any of that because I feel like that damages the brush um, and especially when like certain designs that I do I do use rubbing alcohol to dilute the gel polish um, to get like a certain effect so but I always condition them in the top coat before I put them away and just make sure that any art brushes um, that you are doing this with that you do not store them near where your UV lamp will be because if for some reason that UV lamp shines on them it will cure the um, top coat residue to your brush and your brush will then be useless but as you can see I'm just doing the same thing um, for these bigger brushes and because it's a shimmer even it was a shimmer polish even though I did get all of the pigment out there was still a lot of shimmer left so I'm just gonna do this repeatedly until I'm confident that I've gotten it all out and I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of this just so you can see how I do it and how I'm working the brush back and forth gently And that's pretty much it um, now I just want to make sure that there is no more of that dark pigment or that shimmer um, hiding down in the bristles so again I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a fluff and looks clean to me and that's pretty much it um, so all you really need is some top coat a uh, pair of tweezers if you want to do that part like I do which I do suggest because you don't want colors bleeding into each other and that's about it. Um, I hope that this was helpful and I hope that I see you guys in the next one. All right, everybody take care.